What's going on everyone? Nary Rodriguez here for Jersey Sports Zone. It's December in the Garden State and that means championship football. The matchup between Lakeland and Newton has been much anticipated since these two met back in October with Newton coming out on top. The Braves were able to repeat their success thanks to quarterback Luke Young as they bring home the first state title in program history. North Jersey Section 1 Group 2 Football Final. This one features the Braves of Newton taking on the Lakeland Lancers. Exciting right from the start, this drive would feature a touchdown and an interception that would both be called back for penalties. Then on fourth and forever, Braves going for it. Quarterback Luke Young lets the spiral fly, and Jaden Elliott comes down with it. That's how you do it on a Friday night. Newton taking a 7-0 lead with 4-15 remaining in the first. Young and Elliott not done, though. Braves get the ball back in the second. Luke Young surveying the field and says, I choose you. And Jaden Elliott, are you for real? Another insane catch. Let's take another look. Wow. Just shy of the goal line, but no worries. Young digs his way to the bottom of the pile a couple plays later, and Newton jumps out to a 14-0 lead with 7.44 to go before halftime. Lakeland trying to answer back after those two big early scores. Michael McKay for the Lancers, nowhere to go. Decides to take a detour. Nice juke, and he makes something out of nothing for the first down. He liked that one so much, he decides to keep it again. And Lakeland slowly finding their groove. Maybe too much of a good thing is bad. Wrong. McKay calling his own number once again, and this time he finds the end zone. And once he returns from parts unknown, it's 714 Newton still leading with 435 remaining in the second. That's probably gonna do it for the half, but Chase Kramer busting out of the backfield. One man to beat, and see ya. Braves make it 21 to seven as we go into halftime. And act two would kick off with some fireworks. Luke Young on another fourth and down, slinging that thing, and Jaden Elliott again. Sound the alarm, it's an air raid. Newton pulling away to make it 28-7 with 7.47 remaining in the third. Next possession for Lakeland. Looks like they will punt again after another unsuccessful third down, but the ball pops out. Kevin Gonzalez is gonna scoop it up, and when you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Gonzalez hits the burners, and he's gonna make it 28-14 with 7.21 remaining in the third. Lancer's still trailing, but hopeful. The Braves D would not make it easy though, as they had more licks than your favorite lollipop. And that's going to do it. Newton stands alone as the best team in North Jersey 1 Group 2. 28-14 is your final from Keene University. 99 seasons of football at Newton High School, and they finally bring home their first title in program history. Jaden Elliott shining in this one thanks to some help from his quarterback. Five catches for 100 yards and a pair of touchdowns. I think he's earned himself a couple sandwiches. Afterwards, we caught up with Young and Elliott and head coach Matt Parzero on what it feels like to be the first Braves program to bring home that special wooden plaque. It feels great. Nothing can compare to it. Just unbelievable feeling. We worked hard our whole lives for it. So. Uh, we have just a lot of heart. We've been playing together our whole lives, so have just a bond that just never can be broken. Oh my God, it feels amazing, not just for us, but for this whole community. Uh, everyone knows it's been 100 years since we've won a state title because we never won one, and 33 years since we've been to one. So this isn't just for our team. This is for the coaches. This is for every one of the past players that's ever played at Newton. This is for the fans, the community. This brings us together, and this is huge. This is awesome. This is the greatest feeling I've ever had in my life. This group of guys is amazing. I wouldn't rather play with anyone else. This is not my like just my team. These are my brothers. I'll put my life on like on the line for them. Every play, you never know what's gonna happen. People could get hurt, and we're out here. We're just playing our hardest for each other. I look around. I don't see anyone down. We let up a play, the touchdown off the fumble. We look around. And we said, so what? It's just the next play. We pick each other up, and this is the exact exact definition of a family out here. Uh, it feels great. You know, these guys had this goal from day one, and for them to go out there and do everything that they had to do, you know, on the practice field, in the classroom, in the weight room, and then to go out there and, and to get the win, you know, it just it just feels great. Wow, they're just a special group. All the credit goes to the kids and the assistant coaches. You know, they do all the work behind the scenes that, that you don't really get to, you know, you don't see, especially the offensive line and the defensive line. Those guys in the trenches, they're just out outstanding. Be sure to check out all our championship football coverage for Jersey Sports Zone. I'm Nair Rodriguez. Want to see highlights and features from your favorite school? 
Jersey Sports Zone is entirely supported by our great sponsors. Email marketing at jerseysportszone.com to get your business in front of our loyal audience and highlights from your hometown.